Are nations required to allow their own citizens entry under international law? The motivation for this question is the recent U.S. travel ban on foreigners entering the country from Schengen area countries, which is due to expand to include the UK and Ireland on Tuesday, and the general climate of countries being locked down or quarantined. President Trump's proclamation does not apply to U.S. citizens, the travel restrictions only apply to aliens, with several exceptions such as lawful permanent residents, and spouses of residents and citizens. This exemption is one of the reasons that the measure has come under fire as ineffective and politically motivated. However, I am reminded of the case of the ISIS bride Shamima Begum, who was stripped of her British citizenship by the Home Secretary in 2019, in order to prevent her return to the UK. That being said, does international law obligate nations to allow their citizens entry to their own country, or are these provisions specific to the UK and the US, and potentially other countries? The ability to return to your country is considered a human right, Article 13 of the Declaration of Human Rights and also Article 12 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. But cases of quarantine are one of the emergencies where freedom of movement may be restricted. So nations must, eventually, let their citizens enter, but they can take quite drastic steps for public health. Stripping people of their citizenship is an entirely different matter. This is where UDHR Article 15 and the Convention on the Reduction of Statelessness come in. Again the prohibition is not absolute, CEG Article 8 2.